Here I've got this lightning rest I found in the bin. 9 kV rated, clamping voltage 7.65, used on an 11 kV network, which yields in normally 6.35 kV to ground. So this thing is vented or operated. So I the light a little bit better. So we've got a grip in here, and I want a bit of the light. So it has operated. And it's shorted out to the earth wire at the base here. And I'm going to take it apart. I'm just curious to have a look in there. So I'll just put it out of the wind because it's too windy here at the moment. So um, the base is from a resin material support. The bottom part is normally grounded, and this is rubbery type material. But yeah, the device has operated here, it's ripped. And the top pop has come up as well. So we're going to have a look inside, see if we can take it apart or not. I have to get the base screw off. I had to resort to put this in a vice grip. But now I've got the lightning rester here sitting in the vice grip. Um, and I managed to get this thing to move, and the piece is now coming apart and the uh, discs, these magic discs. So I'll see if we can get the discs out of this uh, cylinder. Probably not. I have to hex it open. So I'm just curious what's in here and uh, yeah. See, um, yeah, just to do some analysis. But yeah, this has definitely vented. Um, we haven't had lightning in Auckland, but this week got quite a large network, so it's probably come from up north somewhere. You can see the rubber skirt is uh, pretty flexible, so uh, yeah, I'll uh, get stuck into it and I'll I'll take some footage. Well, I got the device in the vice grip. It seems to cut quite easy this stuff. So just sort of open. I think I'm more or less in the body here, I guess. Give it a cut on the other side, stop the camera here. See if we can pose the thing open. Interesting smell comes out of it. Still on it. Uh, yeah. Let's have a quick look from the other side. This is the other side I'm trying to prise off at the moment. So yeah, there seems to be a solid core here. I'll see if we can get this rest off a bit better and do a bit more uh, prising. It's actually a pretty tough device to get apart. Just to contain a big explosion inside. I think it's pretty tough. Uh, oh, interesting. I need to cut a little bit more and then I can get these sleeves out hopefully. Stand by. Oh, we're getting this slowly. It's a pretty tough device actually. Circles 
got the devices coming out. Nice big chunks of these uh, MOV top parts in here. Obviously the arc flash happened in the lower part, so this is actually pretty tough to open. Bust it open. Uh, look here. In the name of science, we need to analyze these devices. The second one there. Might pivot it a little bit and stop the camera here. Stand by, guys. It was a bit of a challenge to take this device apart, but this is part of the outer casing. That is the rubber stuff. There's some real strong resin type material inside. And we go to the other part. Here that's the top part. That is steel, that is magnetic. And then we've got these discs here. These round things. Hang on, I'll get myself in better position. Take these out. They come out. These must be the clamping medium. They're non magnetic. There's a hole burnt in there. I don't know if you can see it here. So I don't know if that hole is standard in there or not. Could be the arc gap too or something. Then there's a steel plate. It's burnt in a hole in. Then the next one. That has cracked. And the camera here, that has split apart. That is it looks feels look like a type of ferrite type material. So that's come apart here. Then there's another disc here. And the rest is all fused together. There is looks like there's at least one more in here and then there will be a steel washer like that other thing we got on this end which holds the stem because this is this is one part so for the different voltages my understanding of these devices is uh, they stack more of these these uh, pieces of MOV material together so yeah so this one has failed well obviously did what it's supposed to do take the feeder out been a bit of heat in there it smells it smells like a bit of uh, carbon carbon is iron type material not sure what it exactly is but yeah that's the autopsy on this device and okay it went it uh, and this thing you know that is a screw on part as well that comes off here and you can take the stem off here a bit of corrosion in there and it's a locating stud here so yeah that's all in these things not too much it did what well, probably what it had supposed to do so yeah that's a uh, lightning arrestor so this was a uh, 9 kV rated one clamping 7.65 kV used on an 11 kV line overview and it can go in the skip Thanks for watching.